Oh man, I'm angry. I mean, I really am pissed off at the moment. It's, man, I could scream. I feel like I'm banging my head against a brick wall. Actually. Bit dizzy now. Oh. Oh. Alright, I feel better now. What's that? I'm bleeding. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Not really. Is that funny? I thought it was funny. But I am frustrated. I am so pissed off. You want to know why? You want to see the ugly side of John Beck? Well, here we go. We all know what Moby Disc are doing around um, the country. Uh, for those that don't know, Moby Disc are basically the biggest mobile DJ company in Australia. They undercut everyone, they go in dirt cheap, use bugger all equipment, very inexperienced DJs, and just undercut everybody. I've lost a lot of schools to Moby Disc, a lot of schools. Um, you know, I'll charge 400, 450, and they come in, charge 300 and they get it. And the straw that broke the camel's back was really, was it yesterday or the day before, I had a school ring up that I did. I didn't do last year, but I've done previous years. And they ring me back this year and says, look, you know, how much for a disco, blah, blah, blah. And I tell them, and they say, oh, look, that's too dear. And we got to talking. And basically, they've got a company that is offering a package deal. They will do pay for one hour and they will do two hours for free. So she wouldn't tell me how much they were paying, but think about it, you know. I lost the job to these people last year, so they're cheaper than $400, so they must be doing it for what, $300? And now, you get two hours for free, book for one hour. So what, what are they charging, $100 to do a three hour disco? I can't compete with that. I mean, that's just ridiculous. How are you supposed to feed your family on that? I don't know why these companies are doing this when they could be making more money. I don't mind being undercut by 10, 20, 30, even $50. But when someone undercuts you by $300, it's like, what the? Yeah, you can't compete with that. And no matter what you tell them, they don't listen, they don't care. You know, believe me, I've been doing this for a long time and I know every trick in the book when it comes to getting people to sign on. And you try and explain to them, well, you know, do you know what you're gonna get? What, what is this DJ gonna bring? Um, how much experience has he got? You know, you ask all those sort of questions to these people and, and they basically say, well, I don't care. You know, if you can match his price, we'll book you. So they know I'm better, but they won't pay more for it. Things are different from state to state, let alone from one country to another. You know, I'm not a salesman, I'm just a DJ. So when I talk to someone on the phone, I must sound like a pushy insurance salesman because people think I'm just using a sales technique or a sales ploy to try and get them to book when I say, well, you know, is he gonna take 12 lighting effects? Um, you know, what sort of CD plays is he gonna use? All they say is, well, I don't care. And then you say, well, what, what do you want the DJ to do? What do you expect from a DJ? And they'll say, as long as he plays the music, you know, they don't care. They, they don't care. What are you supposed to do? And then also yesterday, I had a booking for two weeks from this Saturday. Yeah, it wasn't this Saturday, it was next Saturday. I had a booking, she rings up and says, oh, I want to cancel you. I said, oh, what for? She said, oh, my cousin's going to do it now. My cousin's going to do it now. And I said, well, what's he going to bring? And she says, same thing. Oh, I don't know. You know, has he got any lights? Oh, I don't know. I don't care. He's doing it for half the price you're doing it. I've given up. Basically, I've given up. From now on, I'm not even gonna try. 
I'm actually thinking about just taking the website off the air and just when people ring up, if they want to book me, they book me. If they don't, they don't. I don't care anymore. I'm actually going to put my price up. I'm going to start charging 500 bucks for everything. If they book me, they book me. If they don't, they don't. I don't care. I really don't care at the moment. That's how I feel, and I'm so pissed off. <sighs> well, that's my 10 cents worth. That's this month's catch up. <laughs> Get it? Catch up. Uh, well, I've also got a, uh, a bit of a sneak peek for you. I've been working on something rather exciting. And this is also another source of my frustration. You know, you expect people to do things, and like, if I could do everything myself, I would. But when other people start getting involved, it's just so frustrating waiting for people to do things so you can keep going with what you want to do and you can't do it until you get everybody else organized. So another source of unbelievable frustration. And also what's frustrating me is like people that don't reply to emails. I mean, you send people an email and they don't reply. Um, you know, the last few I've probably sent emails to uh, a few sort of acquaintances that I've known you know, looking for club work and they don't even reply. They don't even say, oh, no thanks, we're not interested. They just don't reply. I'm so frustrated with it at the moment. Anyway, this thing I'm working on, it's pretty exciting. Uh, I'm going to give you a sneak peek. I'm going to put a link in the side. Uh, I'm not going to say any more. You watch the video that's there at the moment. Um, and if you think you know what's going on, good luck to you. I would subscribe because from now on, I'm not going to be uh, giving you any more details about our little project on this website or on this YouTube channel. It's all going to go on the other YouTube channel. Um, so if you're interested in what's going on in this other YouTube channel, subscribe because from now on, all the uh, updates will be on this other YouTube channel. Um, I don't want to say any more, just in case, because things aren't 100%, you know, pen hasn't been put to paper just yet, if you know what I mean. Everybody loves the idea, but getting people to sign over money and giving you stuff, it's, you know, that's when the push comes to shove, so you see how, you know, you see who your mates are, I suppose. Uh, so I won't take up any more of your time. Um, Look, I'm not giving up anything. A few people on Facebook thought I'm giving up. I'm not giving up DJing. I'm just frustrated with it. Uh, now that I've got it out in the air, hopefully I'll forget about it and just continue on with my merry little way. <sighs> All right, that's it. Practice and enjoy.